subscribe to the channel. In this video today, I'm going to be taking off my steering wheel. All right, so you want to disconnect the battery. So I'm going to disconnect my terminal and then we're going to jump inside the car. So now that the uh, battery terminal has been removed, the first thing that you want to do inside the car is take a picture of the current orientation of your steering wheel. Right now, mine is locked and it's a little bit off axis. So I'm going to be taking a picture of its orientation right now so that when I am reattaching the steering wheel, I want to make sure that it's accurate. Um, one thing that you could possibly do too is maybe draw like a little line here with a pen or something that's going to be visible for you so that when you're putting the steering wheel back on, you know, you make sure that you line it up with that line. That way, when you're driving and you're driving straight ahead, you know, the car, the steering wheel isn't tilting to the right, but yes, still you're going straight or tilting to the left and the car is going straight ahead so you want to make sure that you get the orientation set back as closely as possible back to OEM so when you're driving it it doesn't look weird basically um so yeah so take a picture and then let's move on after you take your picture the next step that you want to go ahead and do is remove this cover right here and it's going to reveal a screw. There is one on the other side. I'm going to be showing you that one as well. Here is the other one I mentioned right here. So you want to undo those two. All right. Nice. So once you undo the screw that was here, it's going to be a T30 tamper proof screw. So that's the screw that has a little piece in the middle of the, uh, the, 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 the X pattern. So you get your T30 bit, remove those two screws, one on this side, one on the other side. Once you do that, then this will just come off. And inside there, this is the earbag by the way, and inside there, there's going to be two attachments. You just undo those. So don't worry about the screws. Here, they may fall off or they may fall inside here. You can always retrieve them from in here. All right, so after you take the uh, airbag out, it's gonna have two wires that are tethered to it. You wanna lift this black piece up on both of them. So you're gonna need something real thin to get between the black and the yellow and the black and the orange on this side. Once you lift this black piece up, then this will just come out like that. One, two, real simple. And there you have it, the airbag is out. Next up, we have this piece to remove. That There's a bolt that's holding this on the steering wheel on. So I'm going to measure this up and tell you what size it is. And then you also want to undo this clip here or this yeah so if you look here there's a little small piece there that's holding it on you just need to undo that piece or press it and then this will just slide out all right Alright, so once that nut is out, you should be able to just take the steering wheel off. And then you want to make sure that when you're taking these two pieces off, right, this little black tab right here, take it out of the black tab and then take the steering wheel off. Alright, so now that the steering wheel is off, you're gonna grab your T30 again, and you're gonna undo these two screws here, one and two. Once you undo those two screws, right, this metal piece here 
will come off. But first you want to undo this here from here. And then, so it was right here. So you take it from here, come a bit closer. And then this black piece here will go or was right here. So you move it from there and be careful. There are two springs under there. So you want to take your time and just take this out. It's not going to fly out. All right. So just take this out like so. And then don't forget the two springs that are behind there. All right. So now that the spring and the uh, metal piece is off, this piece, the black one here is held down by four clips. So there is one, that one right there, that piece there, same thing over there. And then turn this around. There is that one there. And finally that one right there. So you just undo those clips and then this piece should fall off. So give me a sec. Let me put this light down. Hopefully you guys can still see. Done. show you again these are the clips one two three and four they, they were holding on to right there right here right there and these two pieces there and there so now let's flip this over next up is undoing the screws that are along here all right guys, so I only removed three screws here. I removed the one that was right here, the one that was right here, and the other one over on this side. Once I did that, that piece is now off. And since that we're going to be spraying that, we also want to go ahead and uh, take it apart as well. All right, so from the looks of this, you only want to be undoing Three screws, six in total, three on each side. One, two, three. And on this side, bam, bam, and bam. So let's undo those real quick. All right, so right now the uh, trim piece, so right now the trim piece is off. So we're gonna go ahead and get this prepped for some spray paint. Uh, it's gonna be a matte black. Then I'm gonna cover it up with a uh, clear epoxy spray paint, clear coat basically, just to protect it or try to protect it from any chipping. So let's whip out the isopropyl alcohol, clean this thing up, let it dry and then start spraying.
So I had an idea about the buttons. I'll let you guys know if it paid off. I went ahead and I blasted it with some nightshade. Uh, just a couple coats. The reason why I did that, remember it had that ugly gray. And the reason for the nightshade is this lets some light through, right? So because it lets light through, um, you know, some of these buttons are illuminated. So that's the reason why I went with the uh, nightshade. All right, so while the other stuff out there is uh, drying, I went ahead and I dry fitted the steering wheel cover here. Um, they sent instructions on how to line it all up. So I won't be doing much of that per se, but it's real simple. Um, you know, you want to focus especially on right here. Make sure that this piece goes here and it has some lines here. Here is a line. So, you, you know, you, it's really simple to line up, right? Then they send you some double-sided. Oh, geez. It's not fingernail. It's not nail polish, guys. I was spraying the uh, stuff out there. So let's get that out of the way. Zane? Cool. Moving on. All right. So they sent you some double-sided tape. And what you want to do is you put it like along here. So once again, they send instructions on how to do that. Um, I won't be getting into much of that, but I will at least have some or most of it on video for you all to see. All right. Wife did an awesome job wrapping the steering wheel. Really happy how it came out. And I, uh, I had some of the vinyl wrap left over, so I just wrapped the steering, wrapped the, uh, the horn or the, what do you call it? The, uh, you know it, you know it, remember? It is the earband, so I just, Put the rest that I had on and I just cut this out. Looks really nice. It's gonna tie in with the uh, the rest of the trim in the car. So it looks real good. And these are you know, dry. I'm gonna start putting the pieces back together. All right, so the nightshade coat dried. And I just went ahead and put the screws back in here. And then now I'm going to be putting it back inside this piece. I'm, I'm really happy how the nightshade turned out. So it covered the black just enough see that it looks gray on camera and it probably is but it's not bad it looks really nice guys i'm telling you wife came in clutch and staring you man she did a nice job wrapping it really happy with how it came out i need to put this piece on first like so, and flip it over and catch these screws that hold it in right here. So one, two, and three, yep, three right here.
All right, so the back is on. Try to get a better angle here. Back is on. Like so, all right, let me try to adjust this camera real quick. All right, boom. So, front is on. Back is on. I'm just doing a quick little dry fit. Oh, wait, hold uh on. -huh. So remember this piece was on right here. I think that's a ground, honestly, cause it, so this is metal, so that's on. And then this cable here was in this little groove, if you can see it, this little groove right there. So let's get that cable back in the groove. All right, so the steering wheel is back on. So now you just go ahead and connect the stuff that was there before. So next up guys, I'm gonna be purchasing this piece here to fit the uh, first open steering wheel back in place. And right here, I'm testing out some paint, which is the same paint I use for all the other trims. Reason being, um, I don't wanna take this off in order to spray it, to convert it in black, so that's the reason for this. So I just sprayed some on a paintbrush, tested it out. It seems to be working. It's gonna need a couple of coats. So I'm gonna be buying the uh, the paint or the quart tin of paint to paint this on and paint here, paint up here, paint the bottom here as well, and to finish off my black conversion. But see the steering wheel is in right there, and it's timing with everything else there. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So I put the sun visor up to try to create sort of a dark atmosphere. Um, because remember I covered these up or I sprayed them with the nightshade, the buttons. I would like to see it's maxed. I'm not sure if I'm gonna know not until later on tonight. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, share, do everything that's positive on YouTube. Leave a thumbs up, um, leave a comment down below. Let me know some of the things you would like to know, some of the qu questions you want to ask me. I'm very active in my comment section. So thank you guys again and peace. Get out of here.